breaking news, Nigerians. While I don't shallow. <laughs> Primate Ayodele reviews what God told him about Dukubo. Says he should start praying against attack. Primate Elisha Ayodele, the spiritual director of the Iring Evangelical Spiritual Church, shared some new revelations about Asari Dukubo and advised him to begin praying for his life. According to the man of God, Asari Dukubo must be conscious. They want to take his life. He said they want to pose a threat to his life. He needs to start praying for his life against attacks and for God's guidance. Primate Ayodele continued, I am still concerned about our economy. The economy is not going to be simple. Tunubu has not done well in the country. He did, he, he did not choose the right way. And the honest fact is that there will be difficulties. And only God will preserve Nigeria from hardship. The, 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 the standard of living will be high. This is only the beginning. And there is a need to pray fervently and, and hope Tunubu will present a new approach that would stabilize the economy. Because with what is on ground, Tunubu will soon be tired. Well, Asari Dukubo, you don't hear so. Because your matter serve too much. Your matter, you don't too much. If they hear with it and they tell you. Now, this one, when they pick trouble, quarrel, quarrel from here and there and all that, you know, say, <laughs> things like this, feed they come out. You're not going to know who be your enemy now. When you don't to talk, when you don't to do, uh -huh. when attacks don't they come like this, you're not going to know where you're from. Come. So, I started to go about to himself should caution himself because he don't turn himself now to one kind uh, mayor we not understand the kind position when he don't go for Nigeria when he don't begin to talk tough like this. Meanwhile, hmm, they don't give federal government uh, 72 hours to arrest Asari Dukubo. You understand? The Human Rights Writers Association of Nigeria, Oriwa, has issued a stem ultimatum to the federal government demanding the immediate arrest of the former Niger data agitator, Asari Dukubo. In a statement re released by Oriwa's national coordinator, Emmanuel Onwubiko, the organization condemned the inaction of the Department of State Service, DSS, the Nigerian Army, and the Nigerian police in response to a viral video showing Dukubo brandishing multiple AK-47 rifles and making threats against the Igbo community. According to Ongubiko, the video, which has been verified as authentic by various media outlets, clearly shows Dukubo opening, flaunting the AK-47 rifles in broad daylight. Oriwea ascertained that the ex militant must be apprehended without delay for his dangerous actions and statements. It is worth noting that Dokubo recently met with President Bola Tinubu at the Asorob Villa in Abuja during their encounter. He expressed his opposition to the release of Namde Kano, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. Oriwea highlighted Dokubo's deep seated hatred towards the people of the Southeast and Namde Kano, using the viral video as evidence of his evil intentions. Asari Dokubo's mortal hate, hatred towards the people of the Southeast and Namde Kano is evident to everyone. His despicable actions were recently captured in a viral video where he openly threatened to kill the Igbo people. Furthermore, he proudly displayed his illegally obtained AK-47 rifles. In the same video, the security agencies and their newly appointed leaders should promptly initiate investigations and apprehend the former militant leader, Asari Dokubo. He has been inviting his followers in the creeks to commit acts of violence and abduction against the Igbo community. It is crucial to determine 
if the Kubo is the mastermind behind the so-called unknown gunmen and their activities in the Southeast region, especially since he admitted to receiving a military contract from Muhammad Buhari to combat armed bandits. The Kubo and his mercenary group pose a significant threat to Nigerian sovereignty. Immediate action must be taken to disarm the Kubo. His recent confession is widely circulated video, where he discussed the death of the Igbo people, strongly emphasized the agency of his arrest. The Nigerian government must promptly arrest Asari the Kubo, or else it indirectly encourages Igbo youth, Igbo supporters, and various groups advocating for the well-being of the Igbo people to initiate peaceful protests. It is imperative that activities are not allowed to persist to, to persist the whole thing, the security agencies, either foreign uh, arrogancy or deliberately um, avoided taking action. Avoid taking action, I beg your pardon. Asari the Kubo must be apprehended without delay. So Nigeria should not be treated as a banana republic. Arrest Asari the Kubo within 72 hours. Tinubu received the ultimatum to arrest the Niger Delta militant, but she said, We never see anything you know, concerning that. And Asari the Kubo himself don't see toxic. Nobody fee arrest him. And even if say they arrest him, because of waiting he talk, say he go still come out. You understand? So make Asari the Kubo arrest. He still they put mat for matter when not they consign him. You understand? So I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you for always having you here. Bye for now.